guys, welcome to Driving to the Hoops Basketball Diaries. Today I'm doing a, just a quick video. I was thinking about uh, the most important players ever. And the way I kind of look at it when I, when I say most important is guys that maybe catapulted the league to another level, kind of those monolithic type players. Not necessarily the best players ever. Uh, maybe they're one of the best. Um, but there's one particular player I just wanted to give a quick uh, shout out to uh, as a guy that played uh, basketball in the early 70s and throughout even most of the 80s. Um, and he, he really changed the game. I know he wasn't the first to play like that, uh, but Julius Irving to me is the most important player uh, and the most far ahead of everyone else and all of his contemporaries at that time. Uh, when you look at Dr. J's uh, highlights, they're even impressive by today's standards, most of them. I mean, he was just a spectacular player. Uh, the way he could hang in the air, the big hands. Not a great shooter, but an okay shooter. But he kind of developed that later in his career where he could knock some shots down. Uh, when you look at his in-game dunks, I know that <laughs> The last 20 years has given us Vince Carter, Kobe Bryant, and a slew of other great dunkers uh, through the years. But when you look at some of his great highlights, specifically his dunks, I mean, he dunked on everybody. Guys like Bill Walton, Kareem, uh, anybody. Michael Cooper, when he does the cup, when he rocks the baby to sleep on Michael Cooper, uh, who was considered at that time probably the best perimeter defender in the league um, just he just dominated in a lot of ways he wasn't a 30 plus point per game guy while in the NBA but his early years he was a big time scorer with the ABA could that be a little bit due to the style of play and the fact that maybe uh, he wasn't playing with quite the caliber of players that the NBA players were Maybe, but he still dominated in the NBA and won an MVP and a championship, several uh, finals appearances. But he was a winner. He was much more than just a glitz and glamour kind of guy. Um, but what I was kind of getting at initially is, is how important he was to the league. I know that guys like Connie Hawkins and Elgin Baylor, uh, you know, a couple other guys like that that were in the cut similarly from the same cloth as Dr. J that were before him uh, and maybe they influenced his style of play but the way he took it to another level um, and he was everyone's hero he was such a gentleman you know he, he presented himself with a lot of class and uh, just a great ambassador for the sport not just the NBA but the entire sport of basketball um, so I just wanted to give that shout out and, and for people you know that may wonder well what do you mean he's the most important player again I don't mean he's the best player I don't even think he's the best forward by a long shot but he was really good for his time uh, and he was just a great guy and his style of play was translated to a modern style um, and he influenced so many players after him uh, to want to be like him and uh, Anyway, I just wanted to get some thoughts from you. I hope you like the video. It's a little short today. I just wanted to throw one out there, give a shout out to the great Julius Irving, Dr. J. Uh, if you get a chance, check out some of his dunks, uh, the stuff he would pull off in the finals. You know, a lot of guys wouldn't do in the 28th game of the regular season. Like, that's how good he was. Uh, so anyway, check out Julius Irving if you're not that familiar with him. Uh, look forward to your comments and like the video. And you guys have a good rest of your week.